I hope your day is full of seaweed and sea crabs. They're definitely not called sea crabs. They're called hermit crabs. Sea crabs, seaweed, sea anemones, starfish, plankton. You got to have plankton. Whales, porpoises, uh, otters, sea lions. What else is there? Sand, sand castles, sand fleas, boogie boards, surfboards flip-flops guys it's a beach intro that's right i hope your day is sunny and full of all things beach related guys we have an amazing episode of shank for you this week with the one the only abby roberge but before we get into this week's episode i just want to remind you i will be co-headlining in bellflower on june 4th with kimberly congdon come out to see that it's going to be 10 p.m if you haven't seen kim and i perform together or co-headline it's going to be a great time come out support live comedy also if you're enjoying this podcast leave a review i really appreciate your support and that's how people continue to find out about the show if you're listening to my podcast this bitch with kim congdon thank you so much if you're not listening to it make sure you listen to it new episodes of that come out every monday and that podcast is doing extremely well so thank you guys for all of your love and support All right, we have an amazing episode for you with Abby, but before we get into this week's episode with Abby, there's just something I want to tell you about, and that's Oh Yeah Socks. Oh yeah! Look down at your feet right now. Are you wearing socks? If you're not wearing socks, ask yourself why. Socks are an exquisite barrier. They protect your most precious resources, your feet. Your feet hold your body all day, and after the end of a long day, they need something too. Why not give your feet the best socks available? Oh yeah, socks. Head to oh yeah.com. That's three O's H Y E A H dot com. Enter discount code Sarah 10 for 10% off unique sock designs. And they have so many fun designs to choose from. These ones say just peachy on them. How cute are those? They have Brady Bunch socks. They have Bob Ross socks, Mr. Rogers socks. They make great gifts for your friends, for your family, for your lovers, for your teachers for your mothers for your brothers for your fathers give the gift of socks support the podcast whether you're into aliens the brady bunch or you're just peachy there's a pair of socks for you head to oh yeah.com discount code sarah 10 and thank you guys so much for continuing to support the pod and let's get into this week's episode of abby of shank with the one the only abby roberge and we'll see you next wednesday all right guys here it is Hi, welcome back to another episode of Shank. Today's guest is one of my good friends, comedian Abby Roberge. Hi, nice to see you again. Hi, nice to see you. We're up on my roof. Oh, it feels good to be in Topanga. I need this soaking up the sun. Yeah, Jamar, when Jamar came here last week, he's like, you got to start doing the podcast on the roof. Right, good call, good call. So now I'm doing it on the roof. Hell yeah. What's been going on in your life? What's been going on in my life? Me and uh, Ari are going to New York in like two weeks. Going to do a bunch of shows. And then we're, op- we're g- attempting to open a second podcast studio. So that's pretty good. So you have your one podcast studio on Melrose. Melrose Podcast. Mm-hmm. On Sunset. On Sunset. That's blowing up. It's doing good. That's crazy. Yeah. And then New York's going to be good. And comedy's good. I just did Moon Tower just for laughs. So that was good. How was Moon Tower? It's pretty sick. I bought a cowboy hat my first day. And I, I, like wa- I bought a shirt that said, fuck y'all, I'm from Texas. And then I walked around super arrogant, and I got like a thousand compliments on my outfit. Really? And people, <laughs> would like, and people would be like, fuck yeah, nice outfit. I'm like, thanks, bro. Third day here, us locals got to stick together. Uh, no. And uh, then they'd get disappointed. But it was pretty much the most fun bit of that. And then I'd go on stage and like. In the hat? The hat and the shirt and everything, yeah. Oh, you went on the s- on stage in a hat? I did all my shows in a cowboy hat. Wow, you had hat confidence? It was ridiculous. I was like, I get why people wear cowboy hats now. Like, no. I like I I had so much confidence that I had to leave the cowboy hat in Austin cuz I didn't want to come back to LA. You can't with that come energy, back. You can't. <laughs> I would have shut the city down. You could not come back to LA with intense cowboy energy. I really would have shut it down. It would have been too much. They wouldn't have been able to handle it. Yeah, they're going to ask you to leave Air One if you go in there I with that cowboy hat. It was so funny literally right before you said that. My very the very first thing I was going to say was I'm going to pull up on Air One with my cowboy hat <laughs> and see how they react. <laughs> 
fucking sick. That's uh, good life. Texas is sick. You, you go got, to Austin a lot, right? Yeah, I go to Austin. I love I love doing Austin. It's fun. Yeah. Um, what rooms did you do when you were there? Oh, you did Moon Tower. I did the festival, so we did like ten shows in four days. That's um, a lot of shows. Yeah, it was pretty sick. Um, two of the shows were off festival, but they don't need to know that. Eight festival shows and two. I did uh, the Vulcan one time. That was fun. The Vulcan's one of my favorite rooms. Honestly, the Vulcan might have been my favorite actually because the festival like. I don't know. The audience was different for the non-festival shows. They were like actual Texans. And right. I felt like the festival shows were like... Industry? Industry and like people who like weren't from Austin, if that makes sense. I don't like it doesn't didn't feel like... It felt like a downtown crowd. And typically the downtown of Austin is like Californians and stuff. Yeah, I know. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, so you're go- about to go to New York for shows. Yeah. Um, Where... What? I don't have anything lined up yet. You don't? Know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love how you just, you just fly by the seat of your pants. No, I'll figure it out this week. I, I actually, uh, on the drive here, I was like, fuck, I got to line up my New York shows. Since I've last seen you, you've gotten substantially a lot more tattoos, I feel. No, I've oh, I've had these for like a year. I thought you were about to say jacked, and I oh, was like. Oh, and jacked, and too. I was, and I got really excited. And you're substantially more jacked. Hell yeah, that's what I'm Is talking about. Is that what you're about. looking for? That's what I was looking for, thank you. You've been you. pumping iron? Yeah. Um, Pumping iron and pounding Topo Chico? Fuck yeah, I have. Is that, what your, is that what your ritual is? Have you been reading any self-help books? Yeah, I read 10. Uh, I'm on a crazy self-help kick right now. Really? Yeah, I'm doing a program called 75 Hard. It's what fucking do you insane. Mean, what do you mean 75 Hard? It's all right. Let's get into this. Okay. It's pretty much like the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's okay. Like, it's like a, um, it's a self-help program, personal development. It's a mental toughness program. Okay. So you have to complete a series of tasks. Okay. And if you miss any of the tasks, yeah, you have to start over on day one. What are the tasks? Two 45-minute workouts a day. One of them has to be outside, no matter the weather. Um, read 10 pages drink a gallon of water, take a progress picture, and no cheat meals or alcohol. No cheat meals or alcohol. Yeah. So what are you eating, like lean protein all the time? That's all I eat. I just eat lentils. You just eat lentils? That's pretty much it. Lentils and avocados. You're a lentil king. Lentil king, yeah. From (laughs) Lentils and avocados? That's crazy. Pretty much. Wait, so what's it called? 75 hard. It's been life changing. How'd you find out about seventy five hard? Uh, a friend of mine, Jack Jelinski, he was doing it and uh it was actually when I first met him and he was talking about this workout thing. I could see the intensity when he was talking about it. I was like, I don't know what that is, but I see something in this guy. <laughs> okay. And I want it. <laughs> okay. And I texted him. I'm like, Hey, what was that workout thing you were doing? And he just sent me a photo of it with no real description. And I started ad- attempting it without any knowledge of it. And then I got the book and learned more, and then now I do it properly. And uh, I've been attempting it for about six months now because I <laughs> fucked up a bunch of times and had to restart. But And now I'm on, like, day 57. But just, like, in the pursuit of doing it, I've just, like, gotten jacked, got my money up, new car. <laughs> life's good. <laughs> I want to join your program. I feel like you could start your own cult. You're like, do these things. Yeah. <laughs> what else is going on in your world? Mm, you know, just trying to, just trying to, um, very sleepy today. Stayed You're sleepy today? What did you do last night? Uh, I went to Katana with a group of friends, and then I did a spot at the comedy store. Which a really room? good set, the original room on Potluck. Ooh, fun. Emily was in the back of the room taking notes. We so love that. So I, my, so I did my classics, and it went really good. It, that's awesome. And I doubt I got a development spot this week. Yeah, that's I didn't okay. get one this week either. If that's okay. It makes you feel better. Um, So, yeah, I did that, and then I just kind of chilled, watched TV, just couldn't fall asleep, then woke up early because I had to upload something, which took a long time to... Get everything done. To do. Yeah. But now, mm-hmm. I'm chilling and I'm. we're going to hike after this. Yeah, we are going to hike after this. When we hike I... after this, can we do a, f- a hike that's exactly 45 minutes long? Yes, we can. Really? Yeah. Fuck that's yeah. normally how long I hike for. 
can I set a timer? We can't stop hiking. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sick. Yes. Yeah, totally. Is that part Sick. of your outdoor second workout? Yeah, that'll be one of my workouts. I'm on the I'm program really doubling now. it up. Really? Yeah, you're going to start. It's going to change your life. Well, so are you work you see so work out outside every day? Once a day. And just being outside makes you feel better, huh? Yeah, I'm basically the vegetarian liver king. What do, you, what do you mean by the vegetarian liver king? Do you know king? who liver king is? No. Who's liver king? Are you on TikTok? Not, I'm not really. Oh, uh, okay. Adam, do you know who liver king is? Oh, you guys don't know liver king? No, who's liver king? Whoa. You guys are living under a rock. Wait, wh- who the fuck is liver king? Liver king. Holy shit. I'm going to pull him up for you real quick. I feel like I've been missing out on things. This is He's just something that's happening on TikTok. He's a jacked guy who's super popular on TikTok. Okay. And he's like he's like a carnivore intermittent faster never wears a shirt or shoes kind of guy he's got a big beard super jacked old and he basically just eats like animal organs and stuff and his name's liver king his name's liver king (laughs) and he has a speech impediment which makes it even funnier and he's just a fucking character he has a speech impediment like a lisp yeah a lisp a very slight lisp a a guy with a lisp that eats and he's jacked as fuck and so did you so that's how you found him. He's in his same body. He's all over TikTok. He's he hasn't made his way to my algorithm yet. He's on Instagram too. Yes, yeah, because you're a girl though. Guys and girls just have different algorithms. Well, my algorithm's like, leave it in the past. It's like yeah. um like quotes. For a while, <laughs> TikTok was only showing me videos of black guys teaching you how to be toxic. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's like, oh, this is how you treat a bitch. And mm. I'm like, fuck yes. Yeah, <laughs> that was your algorithm? That was my algorithm. I was just, I guess I was just intrigued by like learning how to be toxic. How to be toxic? Yeah. Learn some good tricks. And what are they? Um, don't take no disrespect, you know? <laughs> yeah. Gaslighting's always okay. Gaslighting's <laughs> essential. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Always gaslight. Always gaslight. Yeah, cheat before you can get cheated on. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, what else? There's a good tips in there too, but that's my the, those are my takeaways. Oh, those are good. Hey, how long have you been sober? I've been sober for June nineteenth will be four years in a row without a drop of alcohol. That's I got awesome. sober for the first time in twenty thirteen though, so like about eight years I think. Okay. Yeah, but I've had a couple like uh, I had a couple little experiment runs al- along the way. After a few years, I was like, let me let me give this one more shot. Let me just make I'm, sure yeah, that I don't get along with this. Let me make sure this. I'm an al- I I need to figure out if I was an alcoholic or a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic and a little <laughs> bit of a pussy. <gasps> well, I mean, it's pretty much the best second best. It's the best thing I've ever done. Then 75 hard is the second best thing I've ever done. The first best thing is AA. The second best thing is... Well, AA led to 75 hard. 75 hard. Yeah. Pretty sick. I just feel like if I started doing a program called 75 hard... It's pretty dude-heavy. A couple of pregnant chicks have done it. That's weird. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Their babies come out ripped. Yeah. Their babies come out with, like, fucking biceps and, like, veins popping out of their forearms. My babies are going to have fucking... Banging biceps. Your baby. <laughs> Lentil based. Yeah. They're going to be jacked. Do you want to have a family? Fuck yeah, I do. I want to have do. like five kids. Five? I want to have a bunch of kids. Five's a lot. Yeah. Five's five is perfect. Five? Yeah. Why do you think five's perfect? Five's good because... Um... I don't know. I just grew up with like five siblings in the house. I like that, having a bunch of people around. Yeah, I feel like five would be crazy. But also just the thought of birthing five children is just repulsive to me. Do mm. you know what I mean? I guess so. Like, would you be able to be in the room while someone was giving birth? Right now? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> right. Um, I think it would be a different experience if I really loved the person. It was my baby. I could probably do it. Right. I'd man up in that situation. Right. But if I was just in the room for a stranger giving birth. Ugh. 
Fuck that. A, str- a stranger giving birth? Yeah, fuck that. That would be my nightmare. I'd be screaming. Yeah, I wouldn't want that whatsoever. I could, yeah, maybe I could do it. What's your opinion on eating placenta? Eating placenta is supposed to be really good for you. I know, but it's like, I think w- about it this way. Yeah. There's lots of food that's good for you. Right. But and then it's like your body, you're, you're going to be hungry a few hours later. Right. I think. You know what I mean? I think, listen, why not have it encapsulated? These LA bitches mm-hmm. have it encapsulated, so then it's not like you're eating I get it in like a, thinking about it. I know, I know. You want to know something so gross? My friend had to have her placenta put into a cooler <sighs> to give to the lady to capsulize it. Well, I know. I brought this subject up, but can we change? Yeah, it? <laughs> it's so gross, right? I know. I like brought whenever this I hear the up. word placenta, I want to throw up. I know. I feel nauseous just thinking about it. You have five kids. You're gonna have to get ready for that placenta life. Fuck, I know. <laughs> Fuck that. What else is going on? Wait, so what other self-help shit are you into right now? Pretty much that. Yeah. Um, You know, gratitude, all that kind of stuff. Gratitude really helps. Yeah. I've been feeling pretty grateful for life lately. It's been, things have been really good to me, so. Well, that's good. Wood. That's good. I do fe- feel that when you focus on the things that are going well, then more positive things enter your life. Yeah, that's how I felt. I had a moment last night, actually, where, like, I had gotten, finished my show. I had a bunch of good friends at the show. It was a really good time. And I, like, went home, uh, and my apartment was all nice and finally kind of done up. And and I just felt like I've been working so hard for so long, and for, like, a brief moment, I got to just, like, stop and just, like, for a second, just, like, absolutely fully enjoy everything that's good in my life right now Mm -hmm. and i need and i didn't want or need anything more in that moment Mm -hmm. and i felt like emotional like i could almost cry and it was like a really good experience and i just kind of like sat with it and i like turned i like put my phone away and just kind of sat and felt that feeling and i could feel like in the silence of doing that in the distance i could hear like a train from God coming towards me with gifs. I like that. I'm look. I'm listening for my train coming it was a from really God special with gifs. Moment. Well, that's awesome. I've had been having more and more of those lately. Like, where I'm walking down. I'm just so fucking excited. And I have this philosophy that like, like God's like, if you well, you God, whatever, whatever you believe in, like, God's not gonna give you isn't going to give stuff to the person who isn't grateful. It's like, you're not even grateful for the stuff I've given you and you want more shit? Yeah. You're not even grateful. Yeah. But if you're grateful, it's like, oh, this person's grateful. They like that. Wait till they see how cool this thing is. That's true. Yeah. That's what I think. So, but if you, but if you also live in gratitude, then you're not focusing on the things that you don't have. And the more you focus on the things that you don't have, the more you're creating the story that there's. I also, oddly enough, when I live in gratitude, I actually truly deeply feel connected to all the cool future stuff. Because when I live in gratitude, I'm actually like, holy fuck, good shit's coming and more good shit's coming. You actually are, you're more able to believe good shit's going to happen when you're enjoying the good shit that's happening. Totally. And and I try to make a list of 10 things every day I'm grateful for. Mm. During the pandemic, when I was at my parents' house, I was like locked in there with them before I moved to the canyon. Uh, I made them write down something they were grateful for every day. And like at the beginning of the pandemic... My mom, my mom was into it. My dad was like, what the fuck is happening? I have to write down what I'm grateful for. He's like a lawyer that was like used to being in the office. If you do it for 21 days in a row, it changes like your brain chemistry. Yeah. But so like on like one of the papers he wrote, he didn't understand the assignment. He'd be like the number, the COVID numbers are going up. Like that's not, that's not the assignment. Yeah, <laughs> you're supposed to write down what you're grateful for. Not the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I, uh. I'm grateful that you moved to the canyon and we get to, got to hike a bunch during COVID. When I got back from Canada, I was depressed. I didn't want to be back in L.A. I was so pissed to be back here. I fucking hated being back in L.A. I know the canyon's and so nice. So I was able to come here and get like a touch of nature, and that actually made me really happy to come here. It feels really great to be out here, too. Just being oh in God. nature. I mean, because I grew up in the city, and then... I like, live. we're not in the city right now. No, I know. Not. It's, like, totally different experience. 
That's so sick. I know. It's crazy. Um, what's going on with your stand up? Are you have you been writing anything new? Um uh I have had a lot of like material I wrote during the pandemic that's been doing really good and I actually need to I need to tape and release a special like soon because all this material is no longer going to be relevant like in like a month probably is a pandemic a lot of covid stuff yeah it's so annoying when you're trying to figure out what what the best way to do it is i mean i've already sort of released it on tiktok and Mm -hmm. all pretty much all the clips have gone viral on tiktok which feels pretty cool that's awesome yeah and uh but i need to like release like as an actual special or like something and so we'll see yeah i feel that too like i want to get rid of some of this material that i've just been sitting on yeah i need to write i think starting you know what starting today i'm adding a new segment to my 75 heart oh. challenge <laughs> i was writing for an hour a day i have to do it your discipline well, it's a life we'll see. coach we'll see we'll see let's see let's see if i actually stick to it <sighs> writing when i sit down to write i'm like i got nothing yeah, just write anything funny, not funny. It doesn't matter as long as it's just a thing. It doesn't matter what it is. Well, it's a good thing. And then you just keep doing it and eventually you get yeah, more and more stuff. Because, because you might not get it right then, but it shifts your brain into into searching and crafting. And then later in the day, your brain's kind of always there for like the next 24 hours. You're, you're clicking into that frequency every day. I'm trying to click into that frequency. Yeah. But then also it's tough in LA because it's just so hard to get stage time since the pandemic. And so it's hard to like craft some shit you know it is and then like when if you're doing a spot at the store and the booker's watching it's like you yeah, want to do, do new shit you don't want to do new shit but if I she's was there last night yeah and they're both there with their laptops out taking notes and i'm just like i'm not doing new shit right now yeah i'm not taking any risks yeah I've in the or crowd and or with everyone taking risks like, no and i have like friends there and shit and i'm just like do you like having friends at your shows yeah you do I always do good when friends are at shows. Really? What if it's like a girl? I always do good when I have a date at a show. Really? Always. I've n- oh, what? The only time I did bad when I had a date at the show was a girl I didn't like who catfished me. And I bombed, <laughs> and I bombed horrifically. Did you bomb on purpose so she'd leave? <laughs> I don't know. I think I was so caught off guard by the fact she catfished me and then I bombed. And then it was almost like I couldn't be mad at her for catfishing me anymore because I told her I was a comedian and then I bombed. So Wait. Like, we're kind of even. And then I bought her a drink and awkwardly sat there while she finished it. And I said, okay, I got to go. What did, did she look completely different? She was like, yeah, she looked way different. Like how? What's that? Like how different? Were we talking like 70 pounds heavier? She was much heavier. Much, much, much heavier. So she just like she had like a skinny model in her photos and she showed up. I was like, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds dip bad. But no, but that is it's the misleading. Fact of the reality. It's misleading. Yeah. Like you got to look like your pictures. Imagine I posted like all these like Jack shirtless photos and I showed up as like a fat guy. Like you, <laughs> like, I, I'm out with you because you're like a jack. Like we're 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 meeting up based on photos, right? But also, like, I don't know. It's weird because like uh, girls know how to find their angles. Yeah, this is my low. I don't think you could have angled this. <laughs> this was this, this was no this was angles complete yeah. deception. Oh yeah, and you bombed in front of her. Yeah, bombed. And then you got her a drink, and then that was it? I got her a drink, and we sat there, had the worst small talk ever. Ugh. And then I was like, oh, I got to go to work. (laughs) And then I left. And that was it. I think I was, like, working the door or something. Oh, yeah, when you were a blonde? That was was only a blonde for... That was fun. It was good. All the women really liked it. All the men hated it. I know that I remember you goes. saying that. As it goes. I liked it, but it was a bit, I didn't like the way, I don't like the way my hair felt. Dry? Yeah, it's like dry, dead and dry. Weird. Yeah, it is weird. It's like chemically. Yeah, it's unnatural. I'm growing my hair long. Yeah. I'm going to be like. Like, or like shoulder length. You are? Yeah. It looks good. Thank you. Have you been auditioning for shit? No. Me either. I could, I was getting auditions and then I stopped doing them because I'm busy and I revalue my time. 
<laughs> There's nothing worse. I'm like, because I'm, because I'm not a good actor, so it takes me like three times as long to prepare for audition as a regular actor does. Do you really think that? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, are not you like just a, being hard on yourself? No, I'm like not like a a skilled actor. Like it's I don't like I don't practice acting. You yeah, know, like it's not like a skill of mine. Right. I can do. There's a few things I can do very well. Mm -hmm. And if I need to step out of that range whatsoever, and then it take just takes more time. So, if you if you want me to like spend like two days w working on something to send in to not get, I know. So no. I'll only do, so I would basically would only submit auditions mm -hmm. that were like perfect for me. But I, it's like very rare that there's an audition that's perfect for me. And then if you stop, so start saying no to enough auditions, your agent goes, all right, well, I'm just going to stop getting you auditions. Yeah. Well, and a lot of times my auditions are always like, th it's due in two hours and you need to have a blue polo shirt. Yeah. And I'm like, what? I have a job. I'm like, yeah, no, I have other responsibilities. And I can't yeah. like go find a blue polo shirt, yeah. upload this shit. It's like, it, it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I'll t other auditions I'll take seriously and do a good job. Like, like I'll audition. Like, I have a friend that was producing a movie. And he's like, hey, like, I want you to be in this. So, like, do the audition. So then I'll, like, s cancel That's everything and work yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's different if you someone wants to give you a part versus yeah, exactly. you're auditioning. And it's like. Exactly. Yeah. But when you first start out and you have an audition, you're like, this is my chance. I feel like. And then the longer you do it, the more like oh yeah. Every, when I was younger, like every time I'd get an audition, I would be like, "Well, I'm just daydreaming." Like, all right, I'm gonna go live in this other country and shoot a TV show. Yeah, for six months, and <laughs> yeah. Like, and then now I get it. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. Still, I don't know. I don't really care about that stuff that much anymore. Yeah. Because I'm already like, I don't know. I think. Well, if you're uh, practicing gratitude, then you have everything that you need. I really do, honestly. Right. I mean, I'm going to have way more shit because it's just like, it's crazy that I wouldn't, you know? Yeah. But I'm like super happy with everything in my life right now. That's awesome. Yeah. It's really, I feel like it's really good to be able to say that because, you know. Yeah, comedians are so bitter. So bitter. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't even really hang with comedians that much anymore. You don't? Not really. Me either. I hang out with Kim. And you hang out with Kim, that's good. I hang out with like Ari. vapid influencers. No. You hang out with vapid influencers? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're part of uh, a new world. I hang out with uh, TikTokers that dance. Do they dance when you're hanging? No, I'm just fucking with you. No, I don't really do that. Yeah, you it's do. It's just more of, a, more of a joke. You hang out with TikTokers and look at Liver King? Yeah, I basically just hang with Liver King. Liver I'm King? I'm sorry to the audience that saw me fumble those jokes for the last two minutes what do you mean i warned you before this i'm tired um, no you're you're doing fine you're doing great fuck yes if you had to fuck any cartoon Ooh, good question now which, we're talking which cartoon now we're in the good <laughs> which stuff which cartoon would it be damn all those pixar moms got that booty oh that's true yeah oh like mrs incredible you like Mrs. Incredible? She does have. She is she's thick. Got <laughs> she's got that cake. She's, she caked up. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Incredible is a good one. None uh, of the Disney's. I'm trying. I can't think of any. Any Disney princesses? Can you, can you give me some examples of Sleeping Beauty? No. That would be a no, liability that's a, that's you can't a, that's have. A me too way to <laughs> yeah, you can't fuck Sleeping Beauty. No. Um, Snow White. Racist. Okay, what's racist? It's just too white. Yeah, her name's Snow White. It's too Not white. Really racist. And then you have to deal with the dwarves. Yeah, Snow White is Sleeping Beauty. No, those are two different hoes. No. Yes. Snow, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and then Sleeping Beauty is a different lady. Are you sure? A hundred percent. Sleeping Beauty's Snow blonde. White. Snow White. Snow White the Sleeping Beauty, isn't it? No, two different, two different things. Snow White has the seven little men. Yeah, and then she got cursed to sleep. No, the Sleeping Beauty, who and just she got also had dwarfs. She had no dwarfs. And a prince came and kissed her, and she woke yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. 
But didn't that happen to Snow White? Yeah, the, all the storylines are pretty much the same. It's like, oh, there's a there's a huh. woman in danger, and then a prince comes and saves her. Hmm. Yeah. I guess Miss Incredible. Miss Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Back to her. Yeah, that's the first. That's the first one that came to my mind. Mrs. Incredible. Yeah. I feel like she's in that like suit. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. It's hot stuff. That's so funny. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, do you think that it's it's it is interesting imagine having sex with a ca- cartoon character? That's a big porn genre, Simpsons porn? It is? Yep. Simpsons porn is very popular. Really? Yeah, Marge getting plowed. No. Naked Marge. No. To me that's like ugh, I couldn't watch that would fucking hurt my feelings. Marge getting plowed. Oh, I, I just grew up on the Simpsons, so it's like there's some ser- I think that's what it is is like it's like some trauma. <laughs> some, some childhood like, uh, issues yeah what's it called that type of like therapy where it's like trauma therapy or like shadow work or something like yeah, that yeah 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 shadow I think work simpsons porn is like shadow work for people that come from like broken homes <laughs> no i mean if you're watching simpsons porn nothing in your life is going well i see ads for simpsons porn sometimes really on the porn sites yeah it's a little intriguing like pop-ups you know what i'm gonna do when i get home click it yeah. Click that Simpson click porn. Click that Simpson porn. What if you get really into it? Oh. What if you become like obsessed with Simpsons porn? Oh, that's a good. You become. Maybe I won't click it. Don't click it. No, I'm gonna click it. I gotta see what. You got to become. That's that's you know such a weird fetish to I have. I actually don't watch porn. You don't. I watch porn like twice a year. I haven't watched porn in a long time. Rots your brain. Does it? Yeah. Kills your dopamine levels. Then, in order to be excited, you need to, like, go back to this, like, crazy porn every time. Yeah, pretty much. It Basically, you get all the reward of having sex without any of the work, and it kills your dopamine. It fucks it up. Really? Yeah, like, depletes. People who, like, compulsively watch porn, it's, like, in the it's like equated to, like, squeezing a sponge and, like, the last drips of dopamine out. Like, it's just, like... No. Yeah, like, your brain's just fully depleted, depleted of dopamine if you watch too much porn. Really? Yeah. That's why so many comics are depressed. Yeah. They've just been watching so much porn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Simpsons porn is the thing, and I'm just it's hearing about thing. it for the I first time. Have Simpsons porn? Have you you have? It? Really? You, you've gone deep in? I couldn't. It would fucking hurt my feelings seeing Marge cheat. It's like kind of fucked. It's like really. It's only oh, with it's only with Homer. Okay. No, Marge but I getting feel like I saw like I saw an ad for Simpsons porn where Marge was like banging like Millhouse or some shit. No. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting, right? That would be horrible, but or if she was fucking crusty. Oh yeah, crusty. Fuck that would that. be a plot twist if Marge was fucking crusty the clown. I wonder if there's like Simpsons gay porn. <laughs> yeah, I'm crusty sure. Crusty banging the neighbor, Mister Fl- or something like that. <laughs> Flanders and and Homer. Family Guy porn. Have you seen Family Guy porn? Family Guy porn. Yeah, it's a little derivative, yeah. Derivative is such a funny way to explain the, yeah. the Family Guy porn. Oh, I wasn't classic. expecting you to is come it back. Good, like, do they do good with the voices and stuff? <laughs> no. The original no voice actors ways, are getting paid. The original voice actors. There's, I'm sh- <laughs> sure they. C- I'm sure there's contracts. Oh, probably. I bet he secretly does it on the side and releases it for free. I mean, could you imagine if if you were a voice actor for The Simpsons and they were like, we'll give you so much money to just fucking talk dirty as Marge? I, I, I would have, be doing it. Yeah, oh yeah, I'd do it. Hey, that's pretty good. I that didn't know you I could do that. <laughs> you sound like Marge getting railed for <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, homie. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty good. Homie. Oh, my God. That's amazing. What are those two, like the twins? Do you know what I'm talking the about? Twins. The twins. Yeah, like 
Yeah. Her name's like Hansel and Gretel. Oh, yeah, and they like show. rhyme and they're like always together and they've got like cats and stuff. I don't yeah, know. I haven't seen The Simpsons in like 15 years. Dude, the early Simpsons are so good. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. When the writers were like amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the show's. Are they still doing it? I don't know. It's I like think on... it's like it's been on its last year for like 30 years. When it's in, I, yeah. It's older than me. I'm 31, and The Simpsons is older than me. How old is The Simpsons? Like 35 years old. It's fucking insanity. I'm the Whoever same created age. The Simpsons is probably worth over a billion dollars. Yeah. Do you think that they? I mean, also it's so weird that people would want to watch The Simpsons. Fuck. I don't get it. I get like, it. Like I could understand. I like I kind of understand like the Sailor Moon thing more. I yeah. It's like well, hentai no, more. I'm, hen- not, I'm gonna say no comment. <laughs> okay. Well, like I kind of understand that more. Like hentai porn. Hentai porn. Like, like octopuses and shit. I mean, not octopus. No. I hent. I've seen hentai porn. Um, there was a tentacle. Octopuses. Yeah. There was. What's that? There was octopus is in hentai porn. Yeah, it's all hentai porn is, is people fucking octopuses. It is? Yeah. I thought it was like anime. Yeah, it's anime Octopus? octopuses. No. Yeah, it's like it's like a huge genre of hentai a- porn. Really? Yeah, octopuses. But why? I don't know, it's funny. D- have you ever watched it? I feel like I have. Octopus porn? Yeah. What do you think... What do you think is a weirder thing to be into, octopus porn or Simpson porn? Um, probably octopus porn. No, I think they're both weird. Sailor yeah. Moon, you can't jerk off to Sailor Moon, though. You can't? I don't think so. Yeah, they're in high school. Oh, they're in you high school? I thought they were adults. Sorry, my bad. Maybe if it's like... It would <laughs> <be> <laughs> I don't right know, out. my bad. <laughs> not me getting canceled for saying I that. Know, Who wants to fuck Sailor Moon? I know. Not Abby. She's not old enough. <laughs> I said I was into it? Oh, you said you were into I, it. Yeah, I thought that people... You might have to cut that uh, part. Uh, not me getting canceled for saying I want to fuck Sailor Moon. Right. I'm leaving it in. Is that controversial? Uh, no, nah, I think you get away with it. Yeah. I mean, for f- wanting to fuck a fictional character. If she was of age, right? Like in in the in the cartoon, like in the porn, they're written older. It's like right. The Sailor yeah. Moon, <laughs> yeah. High school reunion. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The now story. We're talking. <laughs> now we're talking now for we're sure. Talking. No, yeah. The the twenty year reunion. <laughs> the Sailor Moon reunion, so funny. Exactly. I mean, I do think it's. W- it's crazy that the Simpsons are so good that they've been able to create an infinite amount of storylines so that it lasts for this long. I think they've just been doing doing the same stuff over and over again. Is that I think what they've it done, is? I honestly think they've probably like just rehashed old episodes a million times. Right. I bet you there's got to be some good throwback episodes where they really mix it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't I I should you know I'm going to go back and watch a new Simpsons. I'm going to watch like a 20 15 simpsons and see if it's any good you should it's probably really bad it's, it's from 2015 really, really i don't watch any tv you don't no nah, i don't really watch tv or movies lately all i see is propaganda <laughs> i respect that and you're yeah. not wrong it's just it's just propaganda capitalism yeah uh so you don't watch tv because you're doing two workouts you're doing yeah. a pod i work out twice a day who has time to work out twice a day and watch TV? Not me. I respect that. I watch YouTube videos. Of what? Angry old guys yelling at the camera about politics. <laughs> I like that for you. Yeah. I watch like... Oh, your battery. It's okay. Um, Yeah, so I watch YouTube videos on like... Yeah, I just listen to like podcasts. Business podcast, spiritual podcast, political sp- podcast. What spiritual podcast? <sighs> that guy Aubrey Marcus has a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty good. Talks about Erewhon a lot. He does? Yeah, he m- mentions Erewhon at least once every episode. Do you think he's sponsored by Erewhon? No, I don't think so. I think, think he has a lot- I think his company owns products that are in Erewhon, though. 
Erewhon, when you go there, it's just a superior okay. grocery. Okay, what's your favorite Erewhon? Venice, Beverly, or Santa Monica? Mm. Or Topanga? Actually, the one in the valley. Thousand Oaks or, Woodland yeah. Oaks or whatever. That's I a like good one. That one's really That one's nice. probably my favorite because it's like the slowest. In Venice the Palisades. Venice has the most babes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, Palisades, Erewhon's my least favorite. Palisades, Erewhon is the most scaled back. Erewhon. Yeah, there's uh, nothing there. It's like a, it's like Erewhon Junior. Beverly Erewhon is like a lot of lip filler. It's a lot of lip filler. So as a guy, I base my Erewhon. It's the type of chicks, and it's the yeah, every Erewhon has got the hottest chicks, but it's a different kind. So like Beverly's like inf- hot influencer chicks. Right. Venice is like hot hippie chicks. I think the chicks in Venice are the hottest ones. Yeah. The it's like a heated area to sit outside. The Venice Air One's nice. Yeah. I just don't like Venice that much. Yeah, I don't like Venice either. Yeah. It's just like, there. it's so... It, first of all, it's really expensive. Yep. And there's just homeless people everywhere. Mm-hmm. So it's like, why would I? Yeah, I'd rather... Uh, I'd rather live in Palmdale. Palmdale. In Venice. Palmdale. Yeah, I'd rather be the king of Palmdale. You could easily be the king of Palmdale. I am the king of Palmdale. I'm jealous. Yeah, I got. I'm gonna go become the queen of I'm Lancaster. Be right back. <laughs> yeah, I'm the king of Palmdale. I go there and sell methamphetamines. And I respect and they that. Love me out there in Palmdale. Yeah. What do they call you? Walter. <laughs> Walter White <laughs> Jr. <laughs> Little Walt. Call me Young Walt. Young Walt. Yeah. Why U N G? Yeah, Young Walt. I respect that. King of Palmdale. You are the King of Palmdale. Fucking right. You guys heard it here. I'm sitting with the King of Palmdale. Yeah, I've never been to Palmdale. You haven't? No, I've seen it on the map though, and it looks pretty shitty. It sounds shitty, doesn't it? Yeah, I see signs for it. Lancaster, Palmdale. Yeah. Between here Barstow. and Palmdale, there's a big national forest called Angeles National Forest. And if you drive to the top of the mountain, you can see all of LA and you can see Palmdale in the distance. And LA looks much better. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, LA looks much better than Palmdale, oh, even yeah. from the distance. Oh, yeah. That's how shitty Palmdale is. Yeah, it's just nothing. Ugh. It just doesn't even exist. Fuck Palmdale. Yeah. But I mean,. Not if you're the king. I know. <laughs> well, do you have anything coming up that you want to promote? Do I have anything coming up I want to promote? Uh, I'll be in New York. You know, are you going to open a studio? That's so exciting. We're do shows. I'm out here. Um, That's about it. Follow oh. me on social media. A-B-B-Y-R-O-B-E-R-G-E. We'll link to that in the description so people will be able to find you. Fuck yeah. And thank you so much for coming on. Let's Thanks go for having me. Hike this mountain. Let's do it. Let's hike it up. Yay.